move now to Perigo. New York Stock Exchange listed, PRGO is the code there. They bill themselves as the world's largest manufacturer of private label over-the-counter pharmaceuticals. So as JP was pointing out to me a moment ago, that's like, for example, when you manufacture stuff that gets sold in Walmart or mm. Walgreens or something in the global pharmaceutical channel. It grew also through a series of acquisitions. Uh, it's got a market cap of $10.7 billion. Uh, it's also listed somewhere else though. Where is it listed? Uh, Perigo would be... Israel sure. too, I believe. Israel, yes, yeah, sorry. Because they, they also they've acquired got a subsidiary Aegis. In Israel. And yes. at some point then, the founder shareholders of Aegis. And I think it's also the only non-Israeli company that's part of the Tel Aviv index. Yes. I don't know if that's really all that exciting or interesting <laughs> to anyone. Price to earnings ratio, 20.93. Dividend yield of 0.88. What can you say about this one to recommend it or otherwise? So it's, it's a bit of a Pac-Man situation in this whole industry because um, Tiva tried to buy Perigo yep. and it was not successful and then in the end they actually bought the activist portfolio from Allegan. So a lot of the times these companies try and acquire each other musical chairs, and a bit of yeah. musical chairs and, uh, and, and look there's interesting views on that as well because a lot of these drugs are if they're under the same ownership in a certain category which the regulators does not allow you to increase the price and the moment the ownership changes well all of a sudden it might be a new category and you can increase the price and by changing ownership you also create these tax efficient structures where the head office all of a sudden ends up in yeah. Ireland or Amsterdam which is exactly what this tax. one is as a matter of interest yes an inversion deal it was an inversion deal so it's Dublin headquarters yes. listed in the US the head quarters from where the executives sit or is somewhere in Michigan, but it has Israeli roots. Just shows you how global capital works these days. Correct, correct. And unfortunately, this is another company that has been fingered in the past when it comes to pricing. Yep. A bit lesser because of the big OTC component over the counters and not scheduled. You don't need a prescription from your doctor. Uh, Walmart being the biggest customer. Okay. So a little bit more defensive, but they still have a, a, a speciality portfolio and, a, and a, a, a scheduled portfolio, which has been under pressure in the last year. Look, speaking of uh, crazy business and deals, I noticed that back in 2013, the share price of this thing was at $198. Mm. And that's because they were the subject of a potential takeover bid from Mylan, which yes. then fell through. Yes. So now you have a case, typically, where you have got these deals, the board probably said they thought that the offer grossly undervalued the company. Then the deal falls apart, then the share price is back now, currently, as you can see there, to $73. So. I don't know, that makes it tough because you can't really depend on mergers and acquisitions for giving you anything in the market. Correct. But what do we say about this one now? Do you think it's still in play? Is there scope for it? Are you going to go hot on it? Well, yes. Uh, like I mentioned, Mylan tried to buy Perigo, wasn't successful. Uh, uh, Tiva tried to buy Mylan, but then in the end bought the, the Actors portfolio. So yeah. there could be more M&A, but I think with the debt levels being so high for most yeah. of these most of these companies in the sector and the price is being under pressure to a greater extent than anticipated they need time to dig here mm. Burigo is also selling some assets they got an infant milk formula business which is quite strong um, so I like this business more than Tiva it's got more defensive characteristics but still with the high debt levels I say once mm. again not hot okay good right let's go with that as well now let's